Hello and welcome to the Horoscope Vault, a podcast that explores the week ahead through the lens of astrology, with a view to helping you make more confident decisions through life's chapters. I'm Charlie, a fourth year associate member of the American Federation of Astrologers and astrology reader for radio's The Bob and Sherry Show. Today's podcast episode is for the week beginning January 14th, 2024, and this is the big week where Pluto moves into Aquarius a little bit more permanently. This sign change is huge. It's bigger than huge. It's massive because it only happens every 16 to 20 years. And the last time Pluto made a sign switch was back in 2008. It's a generational planet, so it molds and heralds a new age as it makes its progression. And that is happening this week alongside a few other interesting developments like suddenly realising that the wool has been pulled over your eyes or the immediate arrival of some amazingly creative miracles. I'll forecast using the sun in your sign as the first house point of the chart and this is called the solar chart method. And if you do know your rising sign, listening to the reading for that too can give you a really personally oriented outlook. And if you don't know your rising sign, then use the calculator below, plug in your info and be prepared for an even more mind blowing read. If you resonate with these readings and you're ready to go private one on one, then there's a booking link below. Sessions can be question specific if you want them to, or you can just let me explain what I see in your chart without giving me any kind of indication at all. Or if you're still new to this and exploring how relevant it is to you, then check out the Patreon for the Horoscope Vault. Lots of deep diving, intricate posts and readings will be available there. To make the most of this episode, you may want to grab a notebook to take some notes. This does help as a reminder. So sit back, grab a nice refreshing drink and enjoy. (laughs) This is the week you've been waiting for. This is the week the world has been waiting for. Pluto moves into Aquarius and while it's not final in settling there because it does make a little retrograde during the summer, it moves out of Aquarius and back into Capricorn from around September 2nd until November 19th, 2024. This is still a really solid propulsion into a new age and there's a lot of debate about when the age of Aquarius even begins. Some say it's not until the year 2160. And some say even later, like 2557. And even if this that we are going through is just the kind of dawning of the age of Aquarius, as they say, which has been spoken about since the 50s or 60s, when it comes to mundane and generational astrology, the movement of Pluto, the furthest out planet into Aquarius, is a definite ushering of change in industry in economy and in the collective experience. An entire individual episode on this Pluto into Aquarius shift will be available on the 19th of January, so make sure to follow the show to find out and get notified the second that that drops. But for now, how does this week ahead look overall? This is one of those what I call integration weeks, and if you've been tracking the show for a while, You might remember that weeks with lots of moon aspects are referred to as integrative. And this is where you take all of the recent happenings and they kind of absorb into being a more permanent or integral part of who you are now. The week begins with the moon conjunct Saturn happening in Pisces. It's a bit of a bounce into the blues where for a moment on Sunday, you could feel a little bit down in the dumps. And the kind of things that can bring you out of this could be really simply a good healthy meal, very, very simple, or tending to and organising your to-do list, getting yourself a nice new diary or notebook. And the general prospect of a new goal that's recently come into the picture, it may be a low feeling initially as the whole concept of starting at the bottom of a new ladder that you want to climb settles in. This is starting fresh where you were not at all expecting to start afresh. And as Monday comes through, the sun in Capricorn 
sextile Neptune in Pisces could point to a little boost of faith, going for a dream or having to go for a new reality isn't all as depressing as it could be when the new path is actually an improvement on the last. If you feel like a cycle is ending, you are correct. And if you feel like this isn't just the normal ending and beginning of cyclical patterns that we go through kind of daily, weekly, monthly, if you feel like this is a big, huge cycle ending, you are double correct. The shift in the age, the change in generational emphasis is a challenging one to navigate. We have become so attuned to hustle culture and doing things the way our ancestors did, doing things the, air quotes, traditional way. But take a look at society and witness the disparity between healthy and sick, rich and poor, fed and unfed, fair and unfair, or even more simply, happy and unhappy. Holding on to the old way that used to work but doesn't work anymore is like banging your head against a brick wall. And yes, change is scary, but in this particular situation, staying the same, especially when it doesn't work, should be even scarier. So Monday brings a desire to change things for the long term. And the only thing you could really be contending with is lower energy than usual. That makes it hard to kind of harness all of this ambition and drive and desire to do things differently in order to experience a new type of success. But that's because these things need to start slowly if they are going to integrate permanently. This process is best when it is unhurried and more thorough. On Tuesday, the moon in Aries square Mercury in Capricorn could be a moment of changing your mind quickly, like very, very quickly. So don't attach to any flippant, responsive changes that come off aggressively. And instead, if faced with an impulsive or moment of stress, ask yourself if you're sure this thing is what you want before you go committing to something abruptly. In general, the best advice on Tuesday is no impulsive decisions or actions. On Wednesday, you're either grateful that you didn't act on the urges of Tuesday or in some other urge, some other way, and you see the benefits from holding back. And then Thursday's Mercury in Capricorn sextile, Saturn in Pisces, is kind of a refreshingly logical mind. It's a clear head, complete with access to some mental discipline, the discipline that you need to get something done. Wednesday's a great day to tackle any difficult problems that have been needing solution. And in doing so on this day, you may find an easier path to success. And what's more, you possibly want to go into serious things on this day because there's a little bit more motivation in the air now. So you'll say less to others because despite some improving aspects, there's still a lot of discord in the air between people. Thanks to everyone realising how different we all are more and more each day. On Friday, Mercury and Capricorn trying Jupiter in Taurus could be a good time to start on a new educational path if that's on the horizon. In fact, any kind of self-education and learning from books or the internet or internet courses, all of that is favoured. And the other pre-weekend aspect on this day is Venus in Sagittarius square, Neptune in Pisces which is about blocking out the undesirable noise. You are well within your rights to absolutely hear no evil, so put hands over ears and ignore people completely. Anything or anyone that doesn't sound or seem good needs to be drowned out. In the recent past, you may have given benefit of the doubt. You may have given someone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chances too many. And now you might be realising that no one's lived up to your, not just expectations, but your individual needs, which naturally comes with a little bit of disappointment. You'll need to make effort not to fall backwards into a lower mood because of this. And positively, if you just shut out the substandard stuff, the inferior input of others, the boring, the disagreeable things, those who seem committed to not change, then you can unlock a creative streak that 
you can use however you wish. The biggest day this week, Saturday the 20th of January 2024. The sun moves into Aquarius and so does Pluto at the same time, which means this happens in almost this hand in hand fashion. These planets progress kind of together and they first conjunct in the final degree of Capricorn and any final degree of any sign is considered anoretic. It's critical, it's massive. So Saturday may come with a really big, powerful jolt and this jolt may appear regressive. It may be the forcing of old rules or limitations that make you feel like this is the final straw. This sun and Pluto power of two, this kind of double whammy, is about maximising your experience, but only doing so within your current scenario, which may be full of natural limitations. This is not about reaching far. This is not about getting ahead of yourself. It's definitely not about extravagance. In fact, it's a nod towards not overdoing things, especially in a superficial way, which almost always leads to a place of scarcity. One of the biggest indicators of lack mindset is the purposeful and conscious over accumulation of that which you don't need. And this might be you collecting or hoarding, or it might not be you. It might be certain other members of humanity who have collected 400 houses or 50 cars or just those that take all the food. This message of discipline, extravagance, excessiveness and limitation is bolstered by the shift of the Sun and Pluto together into Aquarius, suggesting that the old way of achieving long-term security is going to be no more. It's about to be gone. The old work until you make it, or even property investments and climbing the ladder in a traditionally orderly fashion, that's not actually been working in a fair way for a hot minute. And this progression of the Sun and Pluto is about saying goodbye to the whole, fake it till you make it, because that doesn't work. It's about saying goodbye to copying others or the way others did things, because these tried and tested methods have been so overdone that they now also don't work. We're about to say goodbye to hustle culture. And while it's been a saying for a very long time that it's better to work smart than work hard, it's actually becoming a necessary reality to live by. Because no matter how hard you work now, because of the way things have been limited and unfairly delegated even, the ceiling can no longer be broken for some. And getting onto a long-term security-based platform doesn't happen with elbow grease and effort anymore. The structures of that are breaking. And you'll find more success and uniqueness. More achievement really comes from being yourself in the weirdest, most unusual of ways. This shift brings us to a point of power struggles and change. This is huge for the concept of cutting people off. And if you haven't noticed certain cutoffs happening naturally over the last few months, then this week alone is possibly going to thrust a few ended connections right in your face. This is disconnecting from shady characters. This is disconnecting from disrespectful people. People who deny your individual experience, who override your facts because they don't meet with history or they don't meet with their perspective. And there's a saying that goes, you know, you not only have to watch the company you keep, but you've got to watch the company that they keep too. And this is so true now more than ever. It's fine if you haven't had any direct issues with someone. That's absolutely okay. But if that person were to be best friends with, let's say, someone who is not a good person, what does that truly say about them? Do you want to be part of that six degrees of separation where you are connected by proxy? Pluto is the planet of endings, intense upheaval. It's all about clearing the way for new beginnings. And with Pluto in Capricorn, we saw the slow breaking down of structures, 
the exposure of issues with governments, rules, traditions that just don't work. And now moving into Aquarius, the message is about what happens within social groups. It's about the true nature of communities and friends. It's about humanitarianism, scientific inventions, evolutionary progress. And most of all, it's about bucking the norm and giving the finger to conformity in favour of individuality. Make sure to hit follow on whatever platform you're on so that you don't miss this epic January 19th Pluto in Aquarius episode detailing who this Pluto transit helps and who it is going to hinder. The specifics for each sign will be in the individual readings of this episode, which are time stamped below for your convenience. This week for Aries, there's still career pressure that's not going to alleviate very quickly. And that realisation might weigh heavy on you. It's like enough is enough and you just want things to be better already. But knowing that it'll take time is kind of momentarily deflating. This just means you could benefit from tapping into your creativity. Your imagination is greatly increased, so this is a good time for doing something non-productive, something that is a release or just something entertaining that allows you to disconnect. You may be very soon put in a position to air out a few grievances. This could be due to some talk going on around you. This could be handing in a notice. This could be correcting some hearsay. And it's a great time to use screenshots or strongly worded letters or even social posts to just say what you need to say. Good news comes from pursuing a new educational path or maybe using an old qualification that's been sitting dormant. Caution with finances is a normal message lately for you, especially in the midst of professional adjustments. And the Sun-Pluto message before it switches sign and it introduces like a whole new era is in the power of your words and your voice in speaking up and fighting back or leading a movement, a campaign or similar. The big Pluto transformation for you is going to be with the groups you're in or the company you keep and take a look back to March 2023 last year you may have started to feel the shifts the dynamic friendship changes you may have found yourself in a different group and that actually didn't turn out all that well so fast forward to the start of 2024 you might be saying oh okay You start to notice, you know, what was going on and is now an ongoing theme. And it wasn't just a momentary blip. You're linked or likened to the people you spend most of your time with. And it's not always easy to detach from poorly aligned situations. There may be unavoidable connections because your experience is currently limited for choice and not really ready for a quick switch up. So this could start more internally where you have to take an inventory of the connections that you have and do this unapologetically, do this strongly. Ask yourself if each person you communicate with is a positive or negative influence and then even if you cannot escape them for whatever reason, start blocking them off mentally. Differences of opinions or just differences altogether. Sometimes they can be impossible to overcome and some you're not even meant to overcome but instead learn to shut these connections down. That way, suddenly space opens up for the more organic, natural, compatible relationships to develop. Superficial relationships and friendships are a no-go. You need more genuine connection and this may include finding unusual people, unique people, and unexpected relationships develop. Naturally, in aligning with these spectacular and new individuals you feel more able to be your authentic self and as a result your future potential could change and you may even reconsider your long-term goals too. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading Capricorn and your earth sign reading Libra. These will bring you a little bit more depth to your week ahead insight and check out the rising sign calculator below to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalised outlook you can get. This week for Taurus, you feel very independent and whether that's because you have to or because you're coming into your personal power, it 
doesn't really matter the cause as much as the purpose of this experience. There's the theme of setting sail on the voyage of life or if you actually find yourself on a real ship or boat there may be some wobbles or maybe just an uncomfortable trip may be the case. Impulse spending is a potential pitfall so watch out and be mindful of that if it doesn't fit into your current situation. Some travel may be unavoidable as could be dealing with a few legal or paperwork issues and it's great to make plans regarding upcoming taxes or ongoing credit and if it's relevant ask for a deal or a compromise in a financial area. If you don't ask you don't get so it's kind of worth the shot trying your luck. This week's big Pluto cycle changing shift for you is a transformation within the career, your professional life or just your general goals and ambitions and what you've previously been doing professionally, your goals, your schedule, your future plans, they are about to change. This is a powerful time where success looks very, very different to what it was and that is perfect because shortcuts don't work nor will using shady methods to try and progress but now starts a very slow turnaround regarding your ambitions and this grows over the next 10 plus years so take a deep breath get ready for a future that looks entirely different to what you even thought it would be but know that it's one full of rebirth and strength make sure to listen to your soul sign reading for aquarius and your earth sign reading for scorpio this will bring a little bit more depth to your week ahead insight and check out the rising sign calculator below to discover your ascending sign this is the most personalized outlook you can get this week for gemini the down in the dumps thoughts may actually be more intense for you of all signs and it is momentary even though me saying that might not help I really hope it does. You just need to be the kindest to yourself around Sunday and Monday than you've ever been. Don't force yourself to be too active. Take time to watch movies or TV shows. Get lost in something that occupies your mind with a twist and turn kind of way, like a psychological show. I've actually recently watched one called Fool Me Once, and it's a great mind bending watch. So if you haven't checked that out already, give it a go on a Sunday or Monday. Wrap yourself up in a blanket and get some healthy snacks. This week your spidey senses are switched on and if you're a tarot kind of person and you have tarot cards try dabbling in a few card pulls. Do a single card pull each day to kind of start learning and connecting with the unseen messages and if you're not that confident with those kinds of things yet go over to the Horoscope Vault Patreon page where there are some pick a card posts or daily messages and start tapping into your otherworldly connections with a little bit of assistance. Exploring an unseen or mystical realm could bring some clarity to an emotionally charged experience. Having some unfinished business this week is fine, it's not even really the new year yet, not in astrology and not in human design, so forgive yourself on the things that you've fallen behind on already and don't rush because that's likely when you'll make mistakes in haste. If your feelings are too much, share them. And it's not that a problem shared is always a problem halved. When you're so logically focused on a solution. But what sharing does do is reduces the pressure of that problem within your mind. That kind of relief is very welcome this week. Be careful to get enough rest. Go to bed an hour earlier or get up an hour later, whichever way fits your schedule the best. And... Just add some extra hours of sleep or downtime. Your body needs it a lot. This week's transformational switch up, Pluto changing signs and starting this fresh cycle is coming through your spiritual beliefs and your higher mind and your educational space. There could be the feeling of being hemmed in. And it's strange because where you are now may have once been an expanded horizon to you, but now it seems more like a fishbowl. You're not the same person you were 10 years ago. You're possibly not even the same person you were three or four or five years ago. So living by outdated morals or incorrect values feels gross. And all this falls apart in order for you to replace everything with a stronger set of beliefs. You may feel the urge to explore and travel as part of this cycle because wisdom comes through stepping outside of that fishbowl. So make your exploration goals 
big. You won't be supported in making small incremental steps. This has to be huge, all or nothing. Your next move, trip or lifestyle change that you make must be massive. Your experiences rule your life. So indulge only in the ones that give you butterflies in your stomach. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading Pisces and your earth sign reading, which is Sagittarius. These two will bring more depth to your week ahead insight. And check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for cancer, other people may feel like the biggest struggle in your life. And a moment of sadness from not having your needs met could feel very heavy. And it's not like your needs haven't been vocalised. After the last 16 years of utter destruction and rebirth in your life through other people, you've learnt to not only ask for what you need, but to also explain why you need it, which is very fair of you. There's no denying that you are thorough. You don't aimlessly request something of someone without detailing its necessity. You give the whys along with the whats. And yeah, others around you haven't had this evolutionary pulse experience, so they may pay lip service in saying what you want to hear, but they struggle in coming through and meeting those needs. As always, you are likely to give multiple chances, which translates as you being too generous. And if this is tending to financial stuff, there's a nudge to start a savings pot or you may already be aware of something costly that's coming up. So prep for that this week and you'll be fine. Daydreaming is both good and challenging because you need to get lost in vision in order to get yourself through a tough phase. But then too much daydreaming could take you away from the action that will actually pull you out of it. And work could increase If that's where you put your attention, your own projects or new projects alike. And within your current connection environment, so this is relationships, it's not the most fun time for you. In connection with others, this is a sad but true part of your current experience. Others are dismissive or they're mean or they're rude or they're lying to you, which if that's the case, You're possibly going through a bout of sickness because of the unseen impact of such stress. You're the type that likes a gory truth rather than an aesthetically pleasing lie or omission. But getting what you need may not be an option if you're dealing with people who are completely uninvolved. Your biggest new transformative cycle this week is about the impact, the deep, deep impact of the recent 16 years worth of accumulated experiences and relationships, your passionate energy might be dwindling and your financial realm may be going through change. Temptations come to the surface. This could be to cut corners or to take the quick and easy way out. Even the temptation to just give up. But there's a big need to dig beneath the surface and this could be you unveiling the true impact of trauma This could be looking at where you've lost yourself and mourning that loss. And yet it's gone. It's not coming back. Not the way it was before, but you can rebuild your whole image exactly as you want it to be. A loss isn't exactly a loss right now, despite maybe it feeling that way. A loss is just simply a chance to trash the stuff that didn't work and build a life afresh exactly how you like it. And that's going to come with a lot of unearthing and a lot of purging. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading, which is Aries, and your earth sign reading, which is Capricorn. This will bring more depth into your week ahead insight. And also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This will be the most personalized reading outlook you can get. This week for Leo. The low mood for you could be connected to work-related things or just general everyday alliances and support networks. So a little bit of isolation could be somehow both desirable but also annoying. And it's one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't moments. But it passes quickly enough to try not to linger. If you've been a little unhealthily selfish lately, you'll come face to face with that this week. Or if someone has been selfish in your space, they 
to could experience consequences. Either way, it won't hurt. You'll just modestly own up to any wrongdoings. Or maybe you'll receive an apology from somebody else. Maybe this week you will go the extra mile to make amends with someone. Though be careful going into things with certain expectations. You do have a little bit of extra luck on your side, so use that how you wish to. Speculation, investing, or taking a calculated risk. You could also channel your luck into the professional world if you would like to apply for something. Even though there's some uncertainty about career direction, this is natural towards the end of the week, you may feel like others have got more control in that space, or you're overridden by someone, or you're happily handing over the reins. The big transformation for you with Pluto shifting signs is to do with your closest one-on-one relationships. And it's not just about romantic partnerships. It can include certain friendships or business relationships too. Basically, all close connections may be affected now. And one or all of your relationships could undergo many, many, many changes over the next several years, starting now. Some connections could end, especially the week superficial ones or dare I say the dangerous ones and meeting new people could actually be a very helpful part of your journey and it's going to be that the more unique the more crazy and the more zany people that you meet are the ones that offer you the most fulfillment almost like the weirder the better but be aware of connections that are full of power play and manipulation and you will do well Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading, which is Taurus, and your earth sign reading, which is Aquarius. And these will bring a little bit more depth into your week ahead insight. Also check out the rising sign calculator too. And when you discover your ascending sign, you'll find that this is the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for Virgo, emotions could be on zip. Shutting down feelings is either by choice, necessity, or it just happens that way. Like, you don't have time for this stuff because you're the one that's expected to be strong. Or because you're the only one who can be strong, you're holding it together for the benefit of others. Your sensitivity isn't absent. It's not that you're not feeling things. In fact, you sense more than ever all of the stuff going on beneath the surface. So this could be a good time to explore things like tarot and astrology a bit deeper. Consider checking out the Horoscope Vault Patreon where you'll find other occult insights and daily reads. This could help you extract the messages that are coming from your inner psyche. Avoid making any professional decisions. Even if things aren't the way that they should be, your judgment is slightly off because of all the other intense things going on in your private world. It's like you're the sign most in need of a vacation now, some kind of trip or retreat. And if it's not possible, then you could just use maybe a day or two off of the grind like a staycation. Pluto's transformational shift on Saturday is to do with your health, wellness, routine and your lifestyle schedule. This begins a 15 plus year journey to do with how you treat your body, how you organise your responsibilities, how you live your daily life and the focus in those areas is on newness where it comes to your health. Making big leaps in that space and in your wellness could change throughout this transit until you find the exact habits that work best for you, which means letting go of bad habits, letting go of anything that doesn't directly benefit or positively benefit your mind and body. And the way you come face to face with those could be through a shocking wellness discovery or a kind of final enough is enough moment where it's time for you to be the cleanest, slickest, best version of yourself. You could become overly obsessed with wellness, which also has the potential to be quite unhealthy. And this is not about going over the top. It's about being led in a direction of adjusting as is necessary and listening to the messages and signs from your body that show up. This transit is not only about your health, it's also about your job. Don't overwork yourself due to high ambition. That could actually impact your health negatively. And don't be hard on yourself if you crave a change in your career. An unexpected professional path might actually present itself and however it happens it's likely that these changes will lead you to live a much happier fulfilled life in the end. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading for Gemini and your earth sign reading for Pisces. This will bring you more depth into your week ahead insight 
and also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalized reading outlook you can get. This week for Libra, home and family are highlighted and every single week this somehow seems to be cropping up. Something in your family realm is going on almost consistently. Home repairs or emotional repairs, either way, a little damage in those spaces may get you down momentarily. You won't want to be out and about in crowds that will feel quite draining. And similarly, you don't want to be around people who aren't your immediate close people, but somehow it's going to be unavoidable. So when you are feeling overwhelmed or the energy vampire dynamic of others creeps in, make sure you have a way to go be by yourself and kind of decompress. A few nightmares this week could be disturbing. Don't read too much into them or you might suffer the obsessive energy of worry that is just a cryptic subconscious message. And if you'd like to dive into dreams, type in the main dream memories you have, like colours and objects, into a search engine and see what kind of message it translates into. And keep a dream diary if you don't have one already. Some money that makes its way to you from maybe family could have a heavy air of guilt attached to it. You might have to discuss some serious matters with your parents or some serious matters about your parents. Maybe to do with a home, maybe property or just your general family. Keep your eyes peeled for coincidences that could be a hint towards what's next in your professional or personal space. If a message in your environment like a repeating number shows up a lot, or even things that just remind you of a certain someone, follow those synchronicities, take notes, and start letting the puzzle pieces fall together. There's a second hint at a new credit or financial agreement that may be necessary, but it might not feel very nice. So someone asks, too much in return for helping you out or you just feel a negative air about it. So I feel the need to say again, be cautious of money entanglements. The big Pluto transformation dawning on Saturday may be to do with children if you have them. This could be about you becoming a parent if you aren't already one. It could also be measures taken to take control of your reproductive ability and in absence of any procreation matters, It could be a direct influence on your romantic relationships. Be careful of anyone too controlling or too obsessive or someone who brings that side of you out. Drama is almost a given right now and this could be amazing if you channel it into artistic pursuits, acting, performance or similar stuff. There is a big change to your identity and you may become more unusual to others who feel uncomfortable with your developing choices and decisions as you step more and more into your unique self this next 15 to 20 years. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading which is Cancer and your earth sign reading which is Aries. These will bring more depth into your week ahead insight and also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for Scorpio your relatives or siblings become a heavy responsibility And a serious mood or a serious situation calls for you to be, well, like a little bit more serious yourself. Work is work. There's nothing necessarily spectacular there. You can maybe feel like you missed an opportunity in that space. But your career is neither dampened nor excited by anything now. It kind of just is. Too much focus on money can quickly spin you into a low mood. Don't over fret about tax season. It's a few months away yet. And where it comes to cash, avoid worrying too much because things appear more bleak or dark to you than they actually even are. You can find comfort in your marriage or relationship. In that space, romance is very much favoured. So this could be finding someone right for you or spending time with someone you love that feels amazing. There's an element of friendliness to this as much as passion, which makes all the boring practical things that you need to deal with a little bit easier to handle. When you have someone you really care about to talk through it all with. Be careful about signing on a dotted line this week if that's something that comes up. An agreement that shows up isn't ideal and it's not a real situation. So don't be quick to agree to something that will later prove very difficult to get out of. Agreements, contracts and commitments are not 
what they appear to be. Your Pluto transformation point that starts a new 15 to 20 year cycle on Saturday is about your home and family dynamics. This is changes in the stability of your home life that show up. Your relationships with family could undergo unexpected changes and somehow you may feel like you are left carrying the weight. You may obsess about how something should be only to find out that others don't agree with you, which may charge you up even more. This could be something to do with your property if it isn't to do with people who live within it. And moving house, a divorce or a marriage in the family or conflict with family members in general are all possible themes. These changes arise essentially to make your family unit and life stronger, even if it doesn't feel that way initially. And make sure to check out the structural matters of your house and your home. This could be somewhere where that energy creeps into. But really, no matter what happens, this transit acts to tear down anything that is unstable for you to rebuild it perfectly. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading, which is Leo, and your earth sign reading, which is Taurus. These will bring a little bit more depth to your week ahead insight. And also check out the rising sign calculator too. Discover your ascending sign and listen to that horoscope to get the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for Sagittarius, financial shifts require you to be very, very good with your money and your resources. And all the while, your mind just wants to go travel and be somewhere else, which is likely not very possible right now. It's like you're being held exactly where you are for some reason and no amount of positivity or the grass is greener perspective will speed things along you're going to be kept firmly where you are until you've learned the lessons or began the path of necessary growth that you need to begin only then will it seem like whatever shackles are holding you back begin to loosen in relationships like the really really close ones marriage business or family you are less likely to see eye to eye with someone. It actually might feel like someone is just being difficult with you just to make you mad or just to rile you up. So make a mental note of that. This is still cut off season. And while you, of course, like everything to be smooth and happy, ignoring the truth in someone is not going to make things peaceful, no matter how hard you ignore. Work seems to be the most comfortable place for you right now. Co-workers are supportive. You get along with everyone in the office, especially feminine energy. So do make sure you use your alarms correctly because the tendency to be late is very strong this week. And while other times it's normally fine, this week it may not look so good on you. This is a great time to kind of sell something and get the correct value for it if decluttering is on your agenda. But really the big transformative development with Pluto's shift on Saturday that starts a new 15 to 20 year cycle is going to impact your communication, your general interests and your educational pursuits. Where you put your focus is literally going to be the building blocks of your future. It kind of always has been, but this is now an important time to take charge of where you put your mental energy. Your interests need to change now. And if they don't, they really, really should. When you open social media or the internet, what is it that you're feeding your mind within those actions? Is it good stuff? Is it not so good stuff? Because either way, the nature of that will become your reality. Superficial stories, conversations or media is way too unhealthy. And in absorbing certain types of information, you create your path forward based on what you learn. Focus on learning things that are important to you rather than letting yourself be sidetracked by indulgence and entertainment. While there is a time and a place for the fun stuff, now is the time to tip the scale and make sure that the things you're absorbing and learning and looking at are more practical and applicable to the future that you want to create. Make sure to listen to your earth sign reading, which is Gemini, and your soul sign reading, which is Virgo. These two will help bring more depth to your week ahead insight. And also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for Capricorn, 
you are not able to easily depend on others for support. You're the only source of support to yourself and this can feel quite lonely initially. But alas, your intuition will never let you down if you use it correctly. And there are multiple types of intuition. There's this splenic survival intuition. There's emotional intuition. There's gut instinct intuition. And there's mental intuition. Finding out which one is your natural inbuilt system and then using it without fail is going to get you exactly where you need to be. If you want to learn more about the intuitive side of life and how to align with your perfect decision-making system, check out the Horoscope Vault on Patreon for videos of self-development and authenticity. I'll link that below. Work might be chaotic. Work may actually be quite messy. Dealing with problems, complaints or just disagreements could be super annoying, especially when your mind wants to be more focused on health and wellness matters. Saying goodbye to someone this week is a positive. So if it does show up, don't hold on too tight to whatever is naturally dissolving. Focus on your peace of mind during this time and take to meditation and writing as a form of reflection and release. Romance could be a bit weird. There might be some disappointing circumstances in either creative projects or romantic space. This is a quick pass. It doesn't last all that long, so try not to attach. The big Pluto transformation this week, starting a new 15 to 20 year cycle on Saturday, is all about your sense of security. Pluto leaves your sign, which is a big relief. Pluto is one of the most intense planets symbolically. And if you relate to having had a very, very intense past 16 years, then this relief could be welcome. But as always, the next chapter is going to have its own challenges and possibilities. Life may undergo changes to do with your finances. Your focus is really about establishing financial stability for yourself. And it may be a very slow start to that. So try not to obsess over it. Materialism and vanity are not going to cut it, even if they have previously played a solid part in your past. And a shocking or interesting insight is that technology could be a very integral part of developing your income. What initially feels unstable is actually for the purpose of stabilizing you in the long run. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading Libra and your earth sign reading which is Cancer. These two will bring more depth to your week ahead insights and also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This reading will give you the most personalized outlook you can get. This week for Aquarius, some isolation and alone time could feel the absolute best. You may be battling a low mood regarding what is even worth focusing on or trying with in your life. There's maybe some secretive energy in your relationships or something being withheld or similar. And if you sense it, you might want to get to the bottom of it. So do so by asking the right people the right questions. When you're explaining things or expressing yourself, you might think, that you're coming across one way, but others may have information or knowledge that reveals your true intentions if there is something that you are concealing or something that you are unaware of. Keeping the peace might be your main goal, or maybe you have feelings and emotions that you're trying to push down, but others will see right through that act. Stick to the most friendly of atmospheres now and make sure to consciously block out anything negative as much as you can. Be careful about who you invite into your home. Be careful about who you share family information and matters with. Either someone is set on taking advantage of you somehow, or they know something you don't, and it makes things feel weird. The big Pluto into Aquarius transformation is obviously the most personal for you. This is the passing of a torch where Capricorns give you the entry into this next phase which they just closed out and you open up. So if you do have any Capricorn friends that you're close with, ask them a few questions about how their life has changed over the past 16 years. This could offer some little hints and tips that benefit you as you enter this new 20-year shift, of which the main themes are really about connecting with your true inner self, discovering more about your projected image, how others see you, and of course, matters of personal self-control. Let go of the emotional hang-ups Let go of whatever's holding you back. This transit comes to empower you. And part of that may be the desire to transform your whole entire life completely, including your self-image and including what you thought you wanted your general future to be. You will learn more about yourself than ever before. Your true self 
as they say, will come to the surface. And if you've been lying to yourself about your feelings or lying to yourself about who you are, these things will begin to fall apart. You may not have as much control over your life as you desire, yet it will still change drastically. So this is about going along for the ride. And you can only find your true life by looking at your responses as things begin to change. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading, which is Scorpio, and your earth sign reading, which is Leo. Listening to these two will bring more depth to your week ahead insight. And also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. That reading is possibly the most personalized outlook you will find. This week for Pisces, an embarrassing situation or a reality check that you didn't expect arrives and you may feel awkward because of it, especially if you made a hasty judgment or you receive some feedback or truth that puts things straight. This could be a kind of tail between your legs kind of few days. Work may feel more like a comfortable setting than ever. You might just really enjoy being out of the house or generally active. It's not necessarily that you are overly ambitious, it's just that you are comfortable in your professional stride. Things might be uneasy domestically or with your family. This could be that the house is messy or it lacks organisation or that there is an awkward energy between you and your relatives. Being out and about is more favoured, so take yourself out into nature or into town for a browse more often over the next few days. A serious talk with a friend could put some recent stress or problems into perspective. Or if you need an alternative viewpoint, or you're looking for solutions to a problem, go to a mature, older person for that. It's not that older means wiser, but someone with a few years on you might have just the right things to say. Midweek, you might receive some important news regarding your professional path or your general employment. There may be an important meeting to attend or a phone call you receive, and this can sometimes indicate a promotion too. There may be a little bit of watered down communication where you and others are not on the same page. And a misunderstanding is either something from the past that is long-standing confusion. Others don't understand what you're saying, you don't understand them. It's a mess. You may feel inside that you're afraid to say what you think, which could be because of this misalignment or misconnection where you don't actually have all the information. Therefore, it's like everything is at odds and wires are crossed very easily. The big Pluto transformative shift is an intense one for Pisces. Pluto moves into the sector of your chart that's considered one of the toughest to deal with for the next 20 years. This is the area of baggage, emotional and otherwise, and it's subconscious issues and untoward motivations. This could and should be a very reflective and introspective time, and the impact of the next 15 to 20 years is likely to be mostly psychological. The things you shove down to ignore will pop right back up into your consciousness more now. Anything that's been holding you back or that's been a point of self-undoing will demand your attention. This includes resurfacing actions and behaviours from the past in a very karmic way. If there are things that you prefer not to think about, memories that you'd like to erase or problems that you even ran away from, here they come. It's time to deal with those. And while this may seem a bit daunting, handling this stuff will allow you to rebuild yourself and move past the things that hold you back. This is a chance to become more in touch with your subconscious self and to take control of the inner narrative to your life. Make sure to listen to your soul sign reading, which is Sagittarius, and your earth sign reading, which is Virgo. These two will bring more depth to your week ahead insight. And also check out the rising sign calculator to discover your ascending sign. This is the most personalized outlook you can get. That's it for this week's episode. Next week, I'll be exploring the true human genetic new year, what that means, how that begins and what that can do for you. And also, don't forget the full Pluto in Aquarius episode being released on January the 19th. Follow the show to get all of those goodies and check out the Horoscope Vault on Patreon. Subscribe as a member over there and you'll find all kinds of really cool daily insights, daily reads and pick a card posts that link all of the astrology together using your special intuitive skills. Until next week. Okay, bye.